looking after two orphaned Tasmanian devils. Alice Carson is a wildlife carer on Tasmania's far northwest coast. The joys were found wandering a notorious stretch of road where Ms Carson has counted hundreds of dead devils. It breaks my heart because I don't care if they're a devil or a paddy. I just, it's awful. The speed limit changed at Woolnorth and West Montague roads mid last year from 100 kilometres per hour to 80. But Ms Carson recorded 23 devil deaths between July and December last year, higher than the same period in the two years before. I just think they're worth saving. I think they're worth doing something to help save them. And changing the speed limit and putting up some virtual fence isn't enough. She says people are speeding, but the mayor says random speed counters suggest otherwise. The evidence we've got is that the, the majority of people, and there's always going to be a cowboy that doesn't do it anywhere, anytime, but the majority of people are obeying the speed limit. Mayor Blizzard says it's too early to tell if the speed limit change is working. You put something in place, you've got to give it a chance to work to see if you've got to change it, tweak it, or go in a different direction. After the devil disease, roadkill is the most significant source of mortality for devils. It won't send them extinct by itself, but it is important that we address it to help buffer those populations. A stakeholder group is exploring other ways to bring down roadkill in the area, including carcass removal, roadside slashing, rumble strips and signage. That's as well as driver awareness, which Professor Jones says is critical, especially for locals. So anything we can do to say this is really important and let's be aware of it, let's slow down, let's look out for wildlife and let's not try to hit Tasmanian devils or any other wildlife on the road. One way to protect an endangered species.